Hey you guys, so you guys know it is the middle of the month, February 15th to be exact, the day after Valentine's Day. So I wanna share with you the McCall's patterns, 15 beginner approved McCall patterns for a stunning spring and summer wardrobe. And it's a hashtag make 9 2024 idea. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 15 beginner approved McCall patterns for a stunning spring or summer wardrobe, which can be a hashtag make nine 2024 idea. And you guys know open enrollments is going on and will end Sunday, February 18th, 2024. So make sure that you get your board in. And if you decide to do this beginner friendly board, by all means, just be like, girl, you did that. All right. So without further ado, and to keep this short, sweet, give you all the deep and the news that you can use. Let's go ahead and get into it. But if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, chow, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you're returning, you guys know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, grab those notebooks, and come on back so we can talk about it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so you guys know I'm gonna break it down like we do the board. So I'm gonna put the board up and tell you what we're gonna do, the items and all that. Good. So to start off, we're gonna be talking about item number one is the top. Then we have the dress, the jacket, the two piece, the shorts, pants, skirt, jumpsuit, or coat, jumpsuit, coat, and a vest. So those are the blocks that we are squares that we are talking about in the make nine board. However, because I'm giving you 15 patterns, I'm gonna be giving you more than those nine blocks. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first one that we're gonna talk about is the top. So I'm gonna give you like three patterns for this that are all super easy patterns that you can sew up for spring, summer, all right? So first one is of course, McCall's 8386. All of these are McCall, so I'm not gonna say McCall's 50 million times. I'm gonna say it one time and keep it moving, all right? But this is 8386, this pattern right here. Now you guys know, I am interested in doing view B for this pattern. It has separate cup sizes as well, so I'm here for that. It's easy, it's easy to sew, of course. And in terms of notion, you're just going to need a 12 inch invisible zipper. And then if you are doing view A, you're going to need elastic for the sleeves. All right, that elastic um, hem sleeve or whatnot. All right, but that's all you need for this pattern. But once again, it's 8386. Moving over to the next pattern, it's 8217. So I know many sewers have sewn this pattern. I have not gotten around to sewing this pattern up yet, but if, I get around to it. I am interested in doing view C for this one. It is, of course, easy to sew. Many fabrics you can use, including cotton fabric and car print, gingham, gauze, um, charmeuse would be another good fabric that you could use for this pattern. Um, in terms of notions, you're just gonna need some elastic, all right? Now, if you are doing view B or C, you're going to need some single fold bias tape, but you could definitely make your own from the scrap fabric that you have from the fabric that you use, all right? But once again, it's 8217. And the last pattern as part of the tops is of course the Pussy Bow Blouse. It's 8147. You guys know this has been on my list forever. We're not gonna talk about it, but I plan on getting this done as part of my transitional from spring to summer wardrobe that I will be completing. It was from last year, but I'm bringing it back to this year because I did not complete it. I completed three out of the, Three out of the, I think that one was a 10 piece. Um, I'll put both of those links in the description box below, how I broke it down from tops, the bottoms and the outerwear. I'll put those in the description box below so you can hear what I was planning on doing. I'm not gonna bore you to death with that one, but you could go ahead and look in the description box below to all three of those videos from last 
year that I'm going to bring back this year as part of my transitional spring to summer wardrobe, which you will be seeing here shortly when we transition. All right. But I will say that I have some fabric that I will be using. So the fabrics may not be the same. All right. But once again, it's 8147. Now transitioning from the tops to the dress, the next item is dresses. So it's only two patterns and one of the patterns Apparently I misplaced it because I don't have it in my stash right now, but I know I have the pattern. So the first pattern is McCall 7999. You guys know Brittany J. Jones have done this. Carmen from CAG Reinvented have done this or Black Sewing Network. They have done this on live just last month in the month of January as well. But that pattern has circulated Instagram and all social media platforms. That is a really good pattern. Once again, it's McCall 7999. The second pattern for the dress is a new pattern that I just picked up over the weekend. It's McCall's 8448. This one is an easy to sew pattern. You're going to need some knits. In terms of notion, this is a no notion pattern. Let me say that one more time. This is a no notion pattern. So get into this pattern. This would be super good for you to do as part of that 15 piece beginner friendly McCall patterns, baby. All right. So it's 84 48. All right. Now moving over from the dresses into the jacket. All right. So in terms of the jacket, there are, it's only one pattern that I chose. Um, I do not have this pattern in my stash, but it's McCall's 8120. So that pattern would be a really good pattern for you to do for a jacket. All right. Moving over from the jacket to the two piece. So in terms of the two piece, I only um, selected one pattern, which is a pattern that I just picked up over the weekend as well. It's 8456. And the reason why I chose this one is because I could see view A and view D would be a nice set. You could also do it as a lounge set. And if you remember when I did a video of 18 pieces as part of a work from home lounge wear look to where you could still be put together and still make some lounge wear. Get into that video. I'll drop that link in the description box below as well as on the end screen. All right, but this is 8456. In terms of notions, you're just gonna need some elastic. Easy to sew in and out the door, all right? Now moving over from the two piece to the shorts. So for the shorts, I only selected one pattern. Now, one thing I'm gonna say about this pattern, it's super easy to sew. I remember when I did this pattern, it was just too much going on in a crotch. So next time I do this pattern, because I know I will, I will drop that crotch, all right? But it's McCall's 8221. I did this as part of hashtag five and below when, um, I did the five, uh, sewing five and below was the hashtag. When I did hashtag sewing five and below, um, I did this pattern in a turquoise color. Yeah, turquoise um, color, amazing. However, I'll go ahead and put that video up. But however, it's just, I did not like how they fit on me. So I would definitely size them up, drop that crotch, and I think it would be good to go after that, all right? But once again, it's 8221. Now transitioning from the shorts into the pants, I only selected one pattern, but this one, this pattern could go for both shorts and a pair of pants. It's McCall's 8057. Now I have the old pattern. I did this pattern before. I did it twice as a matter of fact. I did it in a blue uh, pair of shorts and I did kind of like an off the, uh, shoulder ruffle top that I self drafted. And then I did it again in a pink fabric, which I still have with a pink blazer. Um, but the old pattern is McCall 6843 and this one, and it's just been reissued into 8057. Love this pattern. It is super dope. It's McCall's 8057. All right. Now moving over from the pants into the skirt, which would be the next item, the next square. Um, only one pattern that I selected for the skirt. I have done this pattern. I did this pattern um, as part of the skirt series 20, I want to say 2022 or 2023. I don't think it was 2023. I think it was 2022 in the summertime, but it's McCall's 8097. I'll go ahead and put up a picture of what the skirt looked like. I did 
view C, but left off the last tier of that skirt, the third tier. But it's actually four pattern pieces. I mean, like, I'm gonna put up all the pattern pieces for each pattern up on the screen that I have, all right? Um, but for this one, it's 80.97. Easy to sew, you're only gonna need some elastic. This is super beginner friendly for sure. Once again, it's McCall's 80.97, all right? Now moving over from the skirt to the jumpsuit. Now in terms of the jumpsuit, I only selected one pattern. It's McCall's 8204. You got a romper, you got a jumpsuit. This is a learn to sew pattern, easy to sew for sure. Um, you can use cotton, linen, twill, chino, different things, okay? Now if you do view A or view B, you're going to need to know how to do a grommet. It is also included in the pattern how to do a grommet. You're just gonna cut a little hole, put the grommet in, snap it, and you're good to go. That's it. Um, but it's 8204. All right, moving over from the jumpsuit to, let's talk about the poncho. So in terms of the poncho, um, one pattern, and I selected McCall's 8029. This poncho made its round on social media many years ago. This is from 2019. I think that this would be cute. Now, in terms of notion, once again, this is a no notion pattern. <laughs> Just throw it. That's all you need. <laughs> you just need some thread for this pattern. So this would be a good one to put on your no notion pattern alert. Um, it's McCall's 8029. And the last square, now I did not select a coat, but I did select two patterns for a vest, all right? Um, so that's the last square we're gonna get into is the vest and the two patterns that I selected, one is an older pattern, one's a new pattern. So the first one is 8050. Now this one has been on my list forever. However, this is a reissue pattern. The old pattern is McCall's 2260. Bam, that's the old pattern was 2260. And now it's been reissued into 8050. Now they claim this is a one hour. So if you have McCall's 2260 on the pattern, it's gonna say it's a one hour. So now, I'm thinking that when they say it's a one hour, so they're talking about after all the pieces is cut, it shouldn't take you longer than an hour. Now, depending on how fast and how slow you sew, it may take you longer than that one hour. Now, in terms of notions, you will need some buttons for any of the views on here. So if you are not familiar doing buttons, there are, I know Simplicity has many tutorials on how to create buttons and zippers and all that good stuff. So check them out, Brittany, um, on Simplicity video, I think it's the YouTube channel. I'll put it in the description box below um, in order to see that. But once again, it's 8050. And the last pattern, I believe this one just came out in fall 2023. It's 8442 for the vest. The, what I'm planning on doing is view C or view E on this pattern for the vest. Um, this is an easy to sew pattern in terms of notions you're going to need buttons and a buckle for the back. All right. But outside of that, this is 8442. So those are all 15 patterns that I think would be amazing for you to get a sexy spring or a stunning spring summer wardrobe. It would be great as a hashtag make nine 2024 idea that you can do. Yes, yes, yes. All 15 patterns are beginner friendly as well. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. They hate when you elevate. I'm stacking up losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go delegate. It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost.